Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mochlever. Thank you for joining me here with Dune Hammer Gaming. Say hello, Dune! Hello! So last time, we finally took out the Allies, which really only took two episodes, maybe max. But they're gone, and this is the result of the world. As you can tell, Europe looks pretty either gray, a little blue, or a little red. Africa looks like a mess, but mostly gray. Um, and China got what was known as China in the end of the last episode, and then there's the Soviet Union has major influence in Australia. So, other than that, did I miss anything, Dune? Oh, no, I did. No, I missed Nicaragua. Oh, yes, then again, Nicaragua. Overall, I don't think most people are missing Nicaragua. <laughs> so, between this no. episode and the last, we've just been moving around things, moving some ships, some planes. If you knew I had 8,000 planes in Ireland, and that takes a while to organize... And finally, I might get enough fuel because my navy takes a maximum amount of 50,000 things of fuel a day. But my air force takes over 112,000 things a day as well, so. Damn. Ah, oh, I love my fuel. Uh, get those air bases built. <laughs> I need all oh, the yeah. planes I can get over here. Get the infrastructure, get the airplanes, get the ports built if needed. Uh, just... Okay, nuclear reactors can take a back seat right now. What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Nuclear reactors? That's the most important thing. And I'm totally not know, building there now. I know, but I just... I need the infrastructure on these islands or it's just gonna be... Just terrible. How many civilian factories do you have? I have 302. How many do I have? Probably like treble that. Well, only 559. Yeah. Then again, I am trading like 20 of, them, 20 of them away to you so that uh, I get more oil. So actually, I probably don't need all this oil. Oh, at the if moment. only, if only I kept China annexed. They have 120 military factories and 120 billion. Nice. They have 150 divisions as well now. They've built themselves up. Rightfully so, considering they have all their core territory. Landing. And Mongolia. Nice. Uh, I should research 1944 destroyers that I'll never use. Uh, yeah, just keep building things up all over this place, sending divisions all over the place. And I, Germany, is going ahead and justifying the Dominican Republic as well as Cyprus once again. I need to invade them. Mm. They're old Cyprus. They got their independence and you're going to take it away from Well, you know, last time I tried an invasion using tanks. Didn't go so well. So, you know what? Let's do it again. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you guys can come from Beirut. Go there. Ah, oh, fuck wolves. Happy 1948, everyone. It's almost 1949. Damn, okay, we're getting through the years now. Right, where are you guys at? Let's go with that. We might need... Uh, we prepare for the great struggle <laughs> against the Dominican Republic. Truly. Oh, that's the great struggle. Truly a great struggle. When they can't even kill Haiti, their neighbor. Uh, sure. on here. You, I need you to guys in Australia. Gosh, this is the first time I'm ever doing this. <laughs> Let's see, that should be good enough. Do I... Oh, strategic bombers. Yeah, take an upgrade. Um, carrier naval bombers, jet tactical bombers, what do I want to upgrade? I took a plane. Naval bomber threes? Sure, why not? You know what, I'll go ahead and garrison your um, land over here in East Indies. Sure, okay, yeah. Uh... I don't think the Americans are going to come knocking specifically, really. I think I'll be able to block them from coming. Oh, my upgrade priorities have been set to high. Cool. So I should have, like, really good equipment up there. Um, yeah. Uh, is there anywhere else I need a garrison? Because I think you have most of the Pacific holdings anyways. Yeah, the only bit you really have is... Well, I can protect all. Oh, well, <laughs> there's stuff near New Zealand, I guess. Like, two islands, maybe. Oh, yes, you don't want to lose New Caledonia since it's got Oh, I do own some Romeo. Pacific islands now. If you look further, like, really between South America and 
Australia. Just a few of them, if you need them to oh, invade. Yes. But oh, it's Tahiti. Tahiti and the Pitcairn Pit Islands. Uh, the fearsome I wonder islands. I wonder how many people actually live there in real life. Probably not many. I'd say probably less than a million. Yeah, I think that's a good assumption there. Let's... Oh, I should be plotting an invasion of Hawaii. Oh. That's probably going to have a lot of divisions on it. Can I actually make radar reach there? Um, uh, From which tile? From... No, I don't think it's going to reach from the, the closest Yeah, that might be a little far. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's fine. Oh, where's the fleet? Because I'm going to have to split you up. I'm not having 300 ships and... Oh, 600 ships, sorry, and one guy. <laughs> I think that's a little bit too much for him. Just a little bit. Let's do that. Let's make a thick division like that. Infantry template. Uh, get some logistic companies. You never know what might happen. Artillery. And field hospitals. Marines, you did well. You might need maintenance hospitals or field companies. No, field hospitals, field hospitals. Does this help your breakthrough? It gives you a little bit more breakthrough, a little bit more soft attack. Screw it, the Marines don't need, they don't need help, just give them more attack. They don't need to revive any boys. Uh, good. And also, I'm training all of these guys. Good, good, good. Model. Schultz. Ah, von Klug. No, nothing there. Other army guys? Nah. Another tank? Good. To replace those old tanks I lost. Where am I? Oh, I'm invading. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Ships. Shippies. Good old ship. You're not doing anything. Go ahead and do naval invasion support in the western, Med eastern Mediterranean. Where are my subs? They're docked in Suriname. Good. Oh, I'm going to need these ships to help garrison off all sorts of islands. Because now I own Bermuda, which is a very, very good. Oh, yeah, that'll be very handy. Very handy. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh. oh yeah, it's 1949. Just continue. Happy 1949. Happy 1949, everyone. I hope you're having a great year. We are still going to be waging war until the end of the game, probably. Yep, nothing's going to change until it's just us two in China and Greece. Oh man, that's going to be a lot of South America and Africa we got to take out. But then oh, again, we already, took out, we already took out most of the countries because, you know, which is good. They're not really going to put much of a fight either. The justifications. Are you telling me I can't put a nuclear reactor in Bermuda? What is wrong with you? That is shocking. <laughs> Are you telling me there's not enough space on that island? I can find space. Gosh, there's some... I probably should not have nuked Singapore to death. <laughs> oh, well. Just wait for things, you know. Good yeah, times. Just, just nothing, nothing to see here. Oh, dual-purpose guns? Or... Eh, I don't need that on there. Um, I need to upgrade my anti-air. Holy cow. Sure, I'm just going to send out all the crap naval bombers I've got. Might as well. Let's... I oh, have so many planes that are just like, I'm never going to use. Oh, yeah. That's why I just delete them. It just makes it easier when you need to deploy them. Uh, you're not a capital ship. Don't give me those guns. Give me that. There you go. Um, through the holes. Oh, Meg's got Meg 15's Jet Fighter 2. Get in production. Your Jet Fighter 2s? You already researched those? Oh. Yep. Wow. Now I'm going for the, the Jet strategic bombers and then I'll be done researching planes. Nice. Mm, there's room for 200 more naval bombers over there. Just use that airfield as well. <laughs> Alright, we're going to stop doing so much production on our cruiser hulls. 1940 variants and go to the 1944 variants even though it's five years past 1944. Oh, I'm still making... Oh. Those are old cruisers. Those are really old. Mm. 
I wonder what my fleet's actually looking like since... Wait, what? Why the... A majority of them should be 1944 subs. Mm -hmm. Well, unless you get blown up, they go a little kaboom. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I should probably put divisions in place for the invasion of um, Siam and Tibet. Not Tibet, uh, Bhutan. Bhutan, who's now guaranteed independence by bloody Iceland. <laughs> the fierce Iceland. Icelandic no, people. Iceland is in the Allies. Of course. Wait. Um. Are, no, they're not. Are they? Yeah, they are. They're the leader of the Allies. Oh, they're the leader. Okay, they're in their own. That's actually not bad. That's good. Yeah. And as well, who else they got? And Cyprus. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not scared of you, Iceland. I'm not scared. Oh, man. Like, you are no threat to me whatsoever. And I'm not being cocky. I'm just, you're not going to do anything to me. Uh, let's see. Watch out, they'll be coming for the UK. <laughs> they have zero divisions. Why are they guaranteeing for? Because they... It's like the UN, they're sending a very strong worded letter to them, or to you. It's like, stop this at once. Stop or what we will attack. I'm With... not scared of oh. uh, things. Josh, oh, should invade Sri Lanka as well. Ah, uh, it's gonna take too long to wait for. Give me these heavy fighters, I'm gonna need them around here. Uh, Scotland, how can I peel stuff off of you still? Naval bombers, yes. <laughs> Good, good, good. Jet tactical bombers, come on down to the Caribbean. Have a good time. Play on the beach. Play in the sand for a little bit if you need to. Let's be a little bit before we go to war with anybody. Uh, what's an approach? Yeah, we have some preparations to do. Oh, 2,000 jet fighters. Hello. I mean, 4,000. Oh, 4,000. Like, 2,000. That's, that's not bad, but... Yeah. Why I'm raving about having... They're going all over the Philippines. Oh, yeah. So really, the faster we go to war with the Allies, the faster we can kill off America's manpower and ships. How many ships they got? Uh, uh, probably around 500. About a million manpower. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to just but blow them up. They don't have that many convoys, which is good. Maybe 500 divisions, maybe. Actually... Now, I wonder if the AI was actually clever enough to actually build ships on the uh, the west coast and not just the east coast. <laughs> uh, I think they they might. The only thing I'm worried about is they're, they death stack uh, one task force all the time in every game that has like 12 battleships, like 8 carriers, 40 screens. That is the, the fleet I'm always scared of finding. Gosh, that will literally decimate everything. In its oh yeah, that, that, it does. Does. No matter how many subs I have, I'm probably going to lose them all if I meet that. Yeah, this even with my Hawaii. my task forces, it's just like, yeah, that's going to be nearly impossible. Uh, Naval bombers, carry us, please. The best Navy is an Air Force. That's why we put literally planes on our ships. Uh, let's see, Lebanon. Do I need radar to take out Cyprus? Of course I will. Um, I want Cyprus. I don't, zero divisions. don't think I need to be building up too much in South West England anymore. Good. Better to, plus twenty percent torpedo attack. That's so good. Oh, my justifications getting there on Siam. Forty-five days. A hundred and eighty-two. Oh, I need to garrison more of uh, Scotland and England and. Wales. Oh wait, is the Isle of Man not independent? No, it's just part of Northern England. Huh. Okay, good to know. I thought Mexico would use the Polar Manpower, and they're sitting there with thirty-two, seventy-five divisions on service by requirement. What happened? Oh, uh, they got taken over by the U.S. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah, but I don't know how they've managed to get manpower back. I thought they'd just be dead. Well, I think the. Doesn't the counter like resets or something? I don't know, it must do. It must do. Or something. I don't exactly remember. Maybe that was like. Hmm. 
Maybe they had an army that got rid of it or something? I don't know. But with this extra time, I've got oh, 28 nukes. Nice. I can't wait to nuke the Dominican Republic. I have 60 days. So I would totally oh. be okay if you needed to uh, like raise it up by one level for speed or something. All right, let's do that. We'll try and get forward quicker. Since we're both at peace. Yeah. This is unusual. Where you are, or one of us is. We must make sure the world never turns into brimstone and fire. So we're gonna use brimstone and fire to kill the world first. <laughs> we're thinking about the future people here. You know, we could end more wars in the future by causing more war now. Makes logical. Strategic bombers, where are you? Good, separate fire mains, good. Given less chance to receive a critical hit, good. Back Siam, to... you're, you're literally gonna get blown back to the Stone Age. Oh wow. I am 14 days away from invading them. Uh, if that's the case, where's my task force? Oh, you're in Bermuda. That's right, you guys are over there. You know what, just in case I wanna do anything, do a little bit of convoy raiding around Iceland. They don't even have any divisions or a navy. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. The Iceland. They never, they're gonna take over the world with an air force. Let's see. Oh, super heavy battleship hulls. That'd be nice, but I don't have anything for you. I've got no um, naval XP anymore. Improve worker conditions? Sure. Greece, what are you up to? Ah, uh, no manpower, 29 divisions. I gave him some more paramilitary training. They're, they're, they're gonna take over America. They're, really, they're gonna lead the way. I have that feeling. The Greek invasion of America. Ah. That would be entertaining. <laughs> Texas has 7 million people. Washington has... Do you know what? If I don't need any divisions, I'm going straight to you, China. They're probably crap, but I'm going to come and take them all and use them as bait. Use them and abuse them. Might as well. They're not going to do anything else. I don't know if I'll... Actually, China, I might just let them sit there. Nice. Let's see. Let's move on to the convoys. Only 3,000 convoys because I don't have enough steel now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, I'm going to war with Iceland. Yeah, well, I'll go to war with Cyprus then. Yeah, you like that? Oh, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop us? Pfft, no. Go, 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 go. Tanks, wait. Um, did my ships not show up yet? Oh, you need orders. <laughs> um, That's why. Wow, I have... I haven't even... I don't even need a nuke them. Very strong, huh? Very strong. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Cypress. Thank you very much for playing. Actually, since we're still Wait, at what? war... Send me 19,000 tanks? Who? No. Is that like... What did China just said? What, is... what did they send me? Oh, 20,000 guns. I don't... I'm not even sure of guns. You know what? We're at war? That does lower the justification for a war gold time down. That's actually really good. But yeah, Cypress is gone. Cypress has fallen. God. And you know oh, what you said? I didn't have to garrison or put convoy raiding subs around Iceland. I sunk eight convoys. Oh, well, they must just be doing trades. Exactly. Oh, India looks so much better now while I am there. Uh, I'm going to go to war with Ghana because the Ghana people have had it too good for too long. <laughs> ah, there are you guys well, out here. Screw if we just keep at war with the allies, I might as well just, you know, kill... What, the mall them Sri Lanka as well? Uh, send some strategic bombers down there. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to need those ships because you all... Where does it send you? Oh, you're going to Ghana? Yeah, don't do Ghana. Do, um, Caribbean. I'm so sorry, Batan, but you have to become part of the Soviet Union now. 
it's a non-voluntary exercise in establishing a international national socialist communist group I don't know I don't, I don't, I don't know what words are special that YouTube doesn't like so yeah uh, yeah <laughs> I'll throw all sorts of words in there you know what you want to go to B war with Bhutan yeah fine I'll go to war with the Dominican Republic then fine who will not be joining any faction because they have their own <laughs> exactly and you know just right, in case today. before I invade um, the Dominican Republic just got a little hotter. Oh, the nuclear winter has arrived. I killed 230,000 of them already. Holy cow. <laughs> wow, well. Sorry, didn't mean it, but kind of did. <coughs> you have a very nice border with China now. Oh, man, I gotta check this out. Hold on. I just surround them. Oh. Perfect. Beautiful. They. I just sunk another four convoys. Iceland, what are you doing? How many casualties have I caused? None. <laughs> There's no one there. Oh, I've actually lost two planes because there's a Siamese Navy up here. What the heck? Why is that there? <laughs> They're in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> what? I knew I sent my subs up here for a reason. That oh. is very interesting. Joe, I don't think I need 18 divisions going to Sri Lanka. Come on, my ships get over there. But the say oh, it's I not keep, very often that I invade the I Maldives. keep forgetting to put on naval invasion support for these guys. Aye. Ah, oh, there go the Marines. Just in case, nuke Santo Domingo again. Did I kill any more? Ah, oh, I killed probably about 6,000 more. Nice. And their divisions aren't looking super good. I mean, I remember back in the day when you played Darkest... Oh, there they go. When I played Darkest Hour, like, the close air support would... I think it would actually kill off some manpower, I think. So, so I tested it to see if, um... Like, if you just use nothing but air force, like a minimal army, just use nothing but close air support... Playing as the Germans, you know, you use the console command and use AI or console mm -hmm. command to, you know, increase the amount of uh, planes you can have, and it yeah. just destroyed the Soviet army if you have enough planes. It just, oh. it just killed all their manpower off. It was amazing. It was so cool. <laughs> uh, old times. And you know who's invading uh, Iceland? Greece. Yep, my allies. <laughs> oh great! They're gonna actually capitulate them as well. <laughs> Yes. They only have one division, and they're going to take Reykjavik. No, what are they doing? Don't do that, because I want to take Sri Lanka and the Maldives first, because they'll join the Allies. Uh-oh. Uh, Greece, I can't tell you to stop. Stop, Greece! Uh, Greece, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Greece, what have you done, man? Uh, did anyone else have a faction made? No. It's just, it's just, uh... uh... Oh, Greece! Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. I can. I'll just let you have. I just. I'll just pass. I'm just, I'm just gonna pass as much as yeah, the other. There we go. Now. We're done. Well, um. Nice. I mean, we're, we're gonna end up in a war against the uh, United States, anyways. So I mean. Yeah, I'm still gonna justify on them. If it starts off the big, the Great War, well, I guess we can call it World War Three, really. It's one hell. That would be one heck of a World War Three. It's not. Would you even say it's a World War at this point? Considering it's like four nations that control like the majority of the world. The War of German Soviet Aggression. <laughs> yes. Uh... With the added extras of China, the Chinese, and the Greeks. With a few Chinese and Greeks involved. <coughs> Wait, oh, oh, Greece, you want to become more independent after that? No. I love you, Greece. You've done great. You need to know your place, though. <laughs> Pretty much. Can I build nuclear reactors there? No, come on, Greece. You need to build more land. <laughs> I have so many slots left to build, actually. I should probably just spam them out. Oh, yes, the airfields are getting built massively thick on the islands. Nice. 
Yep, we can put 2,000 planes in there now. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, I might as well. I, um. Jet. Uh, not jet fighter, but uh, Air Force with some fighters over here. The uh, naval bombers. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use my trash ones, though. Take out the Ghanese. Ghanese? Ghanese people. Um, you guys are over here. I could probably replace you all. Go ahead and go to war with. The Galanas. Yeah, I might even deploy close air support since I also does. Close air support. Wow, I've I'm not used that all game. Yeah, I've got so much of it. I might as well just chuck it out. Actually, too many. It's not like I'm running out of manpower anytime. Yeah. So. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's 1,700 planes in there. There's a thousand planes there. There's a thousand planes here. <laughs> there is so many planes in the Pacific. If they get through and naval invade me, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to have to keep an eye on the north. Let's see. Greenland, that's a nice place to be. Go ahead and do the Azores. I'm going to start doing convoy raiding. Ooh, homing torpedoes. On... Probably the Labrador Sea to the Mid-Atlantic. I'm going to build up a wall. The Great Wall. I'm building a, a wall of subs. Well, actually, I already have <coughs> a wall of subs. I'm just going to make sure that they can't get anywhere close to my actual area. So you guys come over here. More yeah, convoy raiding. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of ready to invade America as soon as now, really. Uh, cool. Let me get some planes in the air first. Formed it of you bad boys, just in case they invade the Labrador Sea. Uh, Jet Fighter 1 still don't have a good range. You guys come up here. Heavy Fighters, yeah, your Heavy heavy Fighters don't even have that much good range up here either. Um, naval Bombers? You never know. Go ahead and throw them on there. And that's why I put two ports in Green... One, port, one more port in Greenland. You never know. Good. Um, shell dies. Uh, I've got naval invasion support down there. I've got you guys over here. I have my normal navy, and they will be doing patrolling in the Caribbean and Bermuda. Because I don't want those boys blown up too badly yet. And then. Submarine my own? Okay, cool. Uh, so, wait, so you, are you going to manually justify on the U.S., or who are you going to go to war with? Well, I'm going to see what happens with Sri Lanka and the Maldives. And if it doesn't really result in anything, then I'll take them out quickly, and then I'll just... Before you do that, though, just let me know when you, before you go to war, just because I need to make sure I gear some my border with Honduras. Yeah, we're still 134 days away from cool. it. Just because I want to go to war with Ghana first. Oh, yes, Ghana. Ghana, who may also end up joining the American nation. Oh. The Democratic? Oh, crud, yeah. Didn't realize that. If that's the case, oh. uh, I'm going to send half the army back. Oh, well, yes, because um, Ghana's guaranteed by Mexico. That is very true. Uh, Marines, what are you doing? You are. Uh, you might need to guard some ports, guys. Yeah, that'd be good. Come over here. You know, oh, guard. Dockyards. I don't need more dockyards. Yes, you do. You need more dockyards. Infinite dockyards. You need to have so many dockyards that you run out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, my fuel's sitting at 4.3 million now. Yeah. Oh, I'm close. I've uh, Current fuel's 4.0 million. I'm hoping it's going to be enough to, the, to do the whole war. Maybe. Maybe. Should be. Well, I have plenty of oil. I have 536 oil sitting there. Oh my gosh, I don't need to import rubber anymore. <laughs> oh, I forgot. They, the U.S. owns Panama. I could take that off of them. They only have one division there. The Liberty Division with a four battal infantry battalion division. Damn. Let's hope they've literally just spammed up them. <laughs> uh, I really doubt it, because I know the U.S. starts with different templates. Yeah, they have like a National Guard one that's quite They big, might like have up to 600 divisions, less than half a million manpower. 
Oh boy, I wonder how this award's gonna go. I really yeah, wonder. it's gonna be it's gonna be a big one. Um, I got too many planes here. I got really way too many planes. Uh, you 800. I love you, but uh, you're gonna have to move. I just need to mop up the Philippines as quickly as possible on these islands in the Pacific. Um, I should probably garrison um, Japan. Maybe. Maybe. Joe, you know, I could be plotting naval invasions and they could be doing the exact same bloody thing on my islands. <laughs> Probably are. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, the, I don't think the AI actually plans naval invasions. I think they just go. Oh, they just go. That would hence why they yeah. always happen. Because I remember reading that like a, like a year or two ago that the AI just, it doesn't even just plan stuff. It just goes. It, it cheats a little bit. But, you know, that's just only four things. Bloody cheaters. <laughs> um, make sure we got enough naval bombers here because we're going to need a lot of support. Oh, oh, oh. Bombers just in time. Look, oh, we're still 90 days away. That's all right with me. You guys split up. Some nice little 100 air wings. Strategic bombers, I have you just in case for that. I don't know. You guys are all good. It's, it's great when you can build level 11 air bases, though. It's pretty good. Level 11 air bases? Exactly. <gasps> Plot hole. Plot twist, right? Oh, no, it's because the game, the game lags so hard that it didn't realize. Oh, I went over one counter. Which is great. <laughs> Go ahead and deploy into war fighters. That's just. <laughs> I think those would be very effective. Very, very effective. Uh, very effective indeed. Like, they would be the greatest thing ever. Right. I'm running out of things there. to research oh. now. My naval, all my naval stuff is almost done. That's the only thing I'm really needing to do. You guys are guarding the area. That's good. Ah, oh, that's not enough nukes. Right, surely. That is enough to dominate the Pacific. There's so many planes in here. Oh, I can reach the eastern seaboard just a little bit from Bermuda. It's just a little bit. I'm cri what am I criticizing for weak foreign policy? Do you not see the world? <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably for your justification on Ghana is not maybe. But I'm still justifying though. Logic doesn't apply. Um, I have that. Oh, I don't have a justification yet on him. Oh, oh it actually went by already. <laughs> We've been in peace for too long. We've been in peace for too long. Cool. So I guess it is. Ready? I'm pretty much ready to go whenever you are. Um. Uh, well, we're going off but we America. might have to wait until the next episode. We will. So we will. So. I guess we'll end it here then. Yes. All right then, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Um, we took out the Icelandic menace and made Europe look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it's kind of we're just kind of waiting until we go to war with the United States and have a good time with the North American Coalition or whatever they're called. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a like if you did, and I hope you all had a great time. And I hope to see you all tomorrow and have a great, great day.